So as I've studied hope now, you know, for almost 20 years since that, that patient who turned me on to it, there's a ton of studies out there, including studies just like in college students looking at uh, something called hope scores and then following students for decades to see what happened to them. And it turns out that those with higher hope scores, they did much better medically, right? They were far less likely to have any chronic disease. And so there's two possible explanations for this. The first is maybe more hopeful people just have more healthy lifestyles. And that's been borne out in some studies. If you're more hopeful, you take care of yourself, you eat better, you avoid smoking, you don't overindulge in alcohol or drugs, you avoid risky behaviors. If you're less hopeful, you don't worry about that stuff. But there is also a biology of hope. And so across every disease where this has been studied, there are differences in the expression of different proteins in the blood and in which genes are turned on. So people who are less hopeful, they have markers of inflammation that are much higher than people who are more hopeful. 